Okay. Let's make sure I'm streaming. And then I can see you and hear myself. Can I hear myself? Hello. Make sure I'm streaming. Yep. Okay. And then, I, and then we're going to have to increase the volume just so I can hear a sound audio. And we'll leave that up for a second. Bringing that down, just making sure I can hear. Yeah. And All right, perfect. Up for a second. Okay. All right. Sorry guys, I'm a little sick, so um <laughs> Hey, welcome in Gibson Lens, Bert. Welcome in Jimmy Kaner. How's it going? I'm very close to the end of this game, so I'm like I kinda wanted to play it yesterday, or actually a couple times during the week, but I've been sick and I'm like, I don't want to stream when I'm sick. And then the urge to play the game became too great. And I'm like, I'm still sick, but Screw it, I'm just going to play. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna choose load game because I was fiddling around with my old save the other day. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I get, use this one. So this is the last one that I did on stream. So, Oh, and I have some cough drops. I have some questionable cough drops that I don't think work, but then I have some backup cough drops that I think are the ones that I do like. So... We'll see how bad it gets. So here we go. But uh, I'm not going in completely unprepared. I did read up on some of the ones I was missing, some of the conches. So where we last left off, we were collecting 60 um, rainbow conches that is required for the end game. And I have... I think I have 55 of them. Um, so I need to get five more. I know where th four of them are, so we'll have to see where in game. Uh, thank you to our friend Tao from last stream that told me about a little tip that could tell me in game if there's something left to find. So, yeah, I did do some research and exploring, so. Uh, alright, let's make sure I'm going to the right place. I need to go up. Okay, right here. Alright, so... There's apparently a couple in here that I have not found yet. And they should be pretty easy to get. And we know this because if I go to map... Treasure left... Oh. <laughs> so let's see, I think there's... Yeah, there's one right there. Like, I could kind of see it, but I couldn't really see it. Um, and then I know that there's... I think... Where was it? Was it this guy? Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Did I have to go upstairs? Have to talk to Cedric, I think. There's now enough data to extrapolate encryption pattern. I'm not sure that's how encryption... <laughs> that's... I'm not sure that's how encryption patterns work, but... Uh, okay, so... <clears throat> just gonna grab these, and then I'm pretty sure I go into this thing... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, there's literally one right here. I did not explore Rapine very well earlier on, I guess. Uh, let's see, this merchant doesn't have anything... Okay. And then the cipher I use here, so this was, I guess, items. Question pack number nine, excellent. Cosmic cape, okay. Let's see, who can wear the cape? Uh, she can wear the cape. He can wear the cape. But 108, 116, 102, 110. Alright, she needs it. Also, he's not really in the party. It's just his shell. <laughs> um, okay, so that's two in this area. And then I know I'm missing one from... Oh, hold on. I have to pull up the directions. But it's like... 
It's in the Cerulean Expanse, and I have to, like, go south a lot. Hold on, Cerulean Expanse. South, southwest, southeast, south. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm going to try one of the cough drops now. I'll start with a questionable one. So, in the past, I've always used halls because they work. I've had some other ones, and I don't feel like they have a coughing suppression as much as other ones. I think this was came from a <coughs> like a trial. I'm going to have a Ricula. And I've heard of the brand, and I know the commercial, but I don't think I've ever had one, so here we go. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> that, that works. <coughs> Sorry for the pause in the game. Alright. I suppose I don't need all of these, but I plan on uh, cooking everything once so I can get the achievement for cooking everything once. Alright, so south. Southwest, I think, was next. <coughs> Southeast was next. And then south. I may have gotten this, and if that's the case, then I'm not entirely sure where I missed. Oh wait, this is gonna be a fight. Hold on. Yep, fight. <laughs> Hopefully, it should be pretty easy to deal with. I guess I'm not that over leveled that I can one hit these things. Not as brutal as I would expect. So that's good. I mean, post-game has its benefits, right? <laughs> so I forgot actually which um, USB cable I plugged my controller in last to last time, so I could be using the faulty one, or could be using the good one. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out through the course of the game. That was a lot of damage, just for <laughs> regular dudes. Going south? Alright, I didn't get this one! Yes! Okay, alright, so that's plus three more. Adamantite ore. Obsidian ingot. Question pack! Alright, that's what we were looking for. Okay, I think we just looted everything. I'll go ahead and just rest. Because why not? And then I'm going to save. Okay. Um... Yeah, I forget if I could just go back, but... Whatever, I'll just advance. Just in case I miss some more. Or I can do another encounter, that's fine. It's not a big deal. So, there must be like one or two rainbow conches left. And then I think the other side quest that I have to do is the one that has the last... Rainbow Conch. I already got that. Um, yeah, this way. <coughs> I 
for the record, the Ricola does seem to have some cough suppressing properties, so that's good. A lot of other cough drops, I feel like people, when they say that it's kind of like candy, it's true. So. <laughs> Okay, so I don't think anything is here, so I'm just going to step out. I mean, I can actually get here without um, going through the maze again. I just need to go through the maze for that rainbow conch. Conch left in derelict factory. <gasps> There's one left in the derelict factory? What? Okay. Um, so now this is this place. Hold on. This is not one of the ones that I thought I missed. Just gotta quickly check here. Derelict. What? Hold on, how is derelict spelled? Am I just spelling derelict wrong? Derelict. Okay, I was spelling it correctly. This guide misspelled derelict. It's spelled derelict. They swapped the I and the second E. Okay. Okay. So, it looks like laser pointer... Right, oh, 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 oh! There was a room! There was a room that I missed, I think. In here. But I forget where it is, so I'm gonna have to figure out <laughs> all the things again. Okay. Was it here? I don't know. Alright, well, I'm just gonna explore everything, I guess. not here, because I've already done the thing that this room does. So, somewhere else. <coughs> I do feel like it's a little bit of a bummer for my voice, because, uh, I would have loved to have a lot more enthusiasm coming out of my voice for this could be the very this could be the last session. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to do all the the final side quest and stuff. So we'll see. Okay, so here. Okay, so have I I've. Ex Sorry, that one had its light on for some reason, so I thought there was maybe something to do. I'm glad that there's no enemies in here, <laughs> now that I've cleared the place. This really does remind me of that old factory in uh, Chrono Trigger. Okay, uh, let's see. At some point, there's going to be... I forgot if there's a laser somewhere. Hmm. Hold on. Wait, is this it? Do I have to do something? Let's see. Is it actually in this room? This room? Hold on. I'm gonna check one more thing here and then go back to the previous room. Maybe 
maybe it's in the previous one. says there's one left and it's somewhere in here. I have to shoot a laser to a box. See in this room? Yes! I see it! There it is! It's over there. <laughs> Wait. Did I open it? No, I did open it. Wait, is there another one in the factory? Hold on, I just have to go confirm. I'm gonna go nuts if this is not this is not it. <laughs> Oh no, was that just a chest? Hmm. Okay, this is just a chest that I've already opened. Huh. There's like no other controls or anything. Get back over here. Oh, I can get over here. Okay, that's just a regular chest. Can I hop down? Yes, okay. But. to go back for the guide. Let's just see. Wait, how do I get that now? <laughs> there yeah, there's apparently one rainbow concert in this factory. Use the laser to point at the treasure chest on the top right corner of the room. Pick up the chest and place it in an empty slot to your right to access the Rainbow Conch treasure chest. What? Oh! There's a treasure chest in the top right of the laser? It's this room. Okay. Oh, I just can't. S I'm an idiot. Does this go here? Okay. We got it. Okay. Oh my god, guys. That was a struggle. I'm. S s I feel so dumb. <laughs> Hefe, well, welcome in and thank you for the claps. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. So, I'm not sure how many I have, but I know there's one more side quest and at least one more rainbow conch, and I think that's going to be all 60. So I'm going to go for doing that quest now, and then that should hopefully get me to... The last rainbow conch. I know it is because I, when I go into the other world, it tells me, "Hey, there's one here." <laughs> I'm like, oh, "Okay, I can't go, can't get in there yet." Okay, my cough drop is also uh, wearing off, so I might have to refresh. We'll see how long I can last before I uh, need it. Okay, all right. So I need to check the map. Go south. 
Okay, so I have to go talk to the guy that's over here, I believe. Not here specifically, but... Over here. Flooded graveyard, that's it. That's where he is. So yeah, for anybody who missed it, when you beat the game the first time, there's these seven monuments that show up, and each one shows, like, something that is incomplete. It just gives you a vision for the, I assume, the person to talk to. And, uh, the person that shows up was the guard that, uh, Romaya had. So, like, the, um, the sorcerer's witch person. So, let's go visit him. I forgot what the best way to go was, but I'm gonna go this way, and hopefully it was faster. Did not last very long with the uh, cough suppressant there. <coughs> no. There we go. Okay. Let me grab the other one. <coughs> okay, this is my last Ricola, and then the rest are halls, my preferred. Hang tight. Sorry for the delay. Alright, here we go. So I think, make it to the end of this. Okay, I hope these guys are, yep, one hit now. Easy. 240 experience. That's a that's tiny. <laughs> um <coughs> I forgot, I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> I remember having to solve puzzles at some point with these things. Um I don't think there should be any danger at this point. I'm also going to turn up my brightness. It's a little dark in here. Oh wait, no, no, no. No, that's Romaya's house. So this is the final final. Where do I find her minion? This feels like a minion-esque place. See a minion.
Okay, let's see. While I'm here, let me go and quickly, I do have this tab still up in my browser. Where to go for... Duke Aventry. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um, when you return to the flooded graveyard, talk to Duke Aventry. Oh, where, where? Enter the cave behind Duke Aventry in the flooded graveyard. Fight off the enemies. Um... Huh. Alright. I guess the key is to find him. Wait! He's on the screen with the raft. That means I've, I've gone too far. I have to go back. Wait. This is the way. Can I escape? Yes. So normally if I was playing this game by myself, I wouldn't be narrating everything. But the fact that people are watching or could be watching, and that actually that I'm recording this, I am speaking my thoughts out loud, I feel like it makes it more entertaining. Or just, you know, shows how silly I am. But there's an element to that, right? Like, maybe somebody else is playing the game too, and it spurs like an extra thought. There he is. Or like it makes people feel not as bad for <laughs> not realizing the same thing. I don't mind the cold. If I could only remember. What? I have to give you an item? What item do I give you? It says, for sure. I wouldn't know what was going on if you weren't narrating. Oh, yeah. All right, run, reset, run. Yo, how's it going? Welcome in. I'm in post game. I'm collecting rainbow conchas and things. I have 59 out of 60. I have one side quest left. And this is like the side quest, so. Oh my god, I did not one hit it. Amazing. I didn't one hit that one either. Okay, so apparently this cave has a clue for something. Oh! Oh! Okay, so, see these stones that are above on the wall in red, green, and purple? Yeah, this is... This is the, uh, I'm taking a picture. <laughs> so I remember. Okay. Run, reset, run, take a picture, you need more than colors. Yes, I know, I, I've seen. And for each one of these, it's variations on the exact same thing. So I'm aware. For Loris, hello, welcome in, how's it going? Um, yeah, I'm doing well, except for being physically sick, but otherwise, uh, yeah, everything's pretty good. We are two weeks away from TwitchCon, if anybody didn't know. My mods and I will be presenting at TwitchCon. So if you're going to be there, come and hang out. We're going to be presenting an interactive magic workshop where we tell you about Twitch magic and uh, we're going to teach you some magic tricks. Now fly away! Yeah! Alright, don't worry. I did, yeah, I did take a picture. So. Oh yeah, I forget to escape here. Ugh. Oh my god, really? You're going to stream it too? I am not sure, so I know that Twitch is going to record it, and from what I'm told, 
Twitch will only stream like some of the most selective um, panels, so I have no idea if mine will be streamed. I can choose to, but I'm not bringing any of my equipment, so unless I have somebody hold my phone or something, um, we'll see. But the likelihood is we'll probably not be able to stream the whole thing. But um, maybe we'll have some clips or something. But otherwise, I'm pumped! You should stream. Twitch magic isn't exactly a huge market, so I think it's unique. Yeah. That makes sense. I hope I can see some of the clips. Yeah, me too. I hope so. Welcome in, Charlie. How's it going? Hold on, I'm going to feel left out if I don't do the eyes. There we go. <laughs> okay, alright. Now I can go fly to the place. Which is... Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. It was... <laughs> it was up to the right. This island. Okay. Flying, best theme. So run, reset, run. My favorite theme, I think, in this is the sky... Like, the Skylands theme. And I think it's because I, it's also my favorite theme in The Messenger. So, Okay, I've taken a picture of the code. So I can refer to the code. Is the code in each game different? Is that... Is that why? Okay, so let's see. Um, the red one needs to be... Wait... Wait a second. That's not red. Wait. Hold on. The l My lightning bolt is purple. Yo! Oh! Okay, I get it now. This changes the color. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, purple. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, if I did not look up the way to do this, I would have, or at least where to find the clue, I would not have. Oh wow, this one's already perfect, okay. And then, uh, <coughs> it probably would have taken me a long time. Or I might have given up. There we go. Oh yes, code is randomized for a game. Oh! Oh, 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 you beat the messenger! Awesome! Hey, Silent Bunny, welcome in. How's it going? Nice, what did you think of the messenger run, reset, run? And also, did you get the free DLC, the uh, Picnic Panic, afterwards? So there's the main game, and then they created another release to come out a little bit afterwards. Um, called, I think it's called Picnic Panic. But I played that one too, and it was uh, awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm just being extra thorough in here. Okay, please tell me I'm gonna fight like a boss or something in here. Going well, thanks. Excellent. Welcome in, Silent Bunny. Hopefully you're doing well. Run, reset, run. I wouldn't have normally played a game like that, so I'm so glad that this pushed me because I loved it so much, despite wanting to throw my PS5 out the window. <laughs> oh, uh, my sympathies. The thing is, there is more story. Like, it's not just a game. So, a lot of people say that the messenger that you either love it or hate it, because the first half is like a linear ninja game, like ninja platformer, and then the second half is a metroidvania. Oh, okay, that's where I escaped from. Alright, let's just dispatch with all these guys. They should call the messenger the truth about the shopkeeper! <laughs> oh man! That was brutal. <laughs> uh, FYI, if anybody has not played the messenger, the shopkeeper is like one of the best parts of the game. <laughs> I won't spoil it for people who haven't played because uh, I may play it next on stream. So I'll bring that experience to you guys. Uh, 
Okay. So now do I just simply get this? Romaya's journal? Okay, so now I give this to him? If only I could remember. A journal? It seems like it belongs to the mistress. But these entries have my handwriting. Ah, uh, yes. I had forgotten all about the estate. Basking in the summer sun. And the flowers, they were beautiful. I wish that I could go there again. I wish... Got yellow flame! The ferryman will know what to do with that. I was bamboozled, though. Were you bamboo bamboozled? <laughs> I definitely thought I would be able to play as a soldier. As the soldier. Um, I'm not sure what you're referring to exactly. Wait, wait, I didn't want to cook. <sighs> Rest? Okay. So now I assume I'm gonna go on the ferry. Get the yellow flame instead. And check that out. Uh, I'm the messenger when you get to the uh, second half of the game. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> okay, I remember now. Oh, no, no, no. This is not the way. This is the way out. Because I've just done this. Alright, ferryman. Greetings, adventurers. Seek your you passage across these waters. Yellow flame. A yellow flame you found, I see. Aboard my raft, I welcome thee. Did you catch all the Sea of Stars connections, though? I mean... I haven't played the messenger for a while, and I, I I just beat well I just went through most of this game so um, okay let me I know I just saved but let's just save again so I plan on playing the messenger again and then I think hopefully I'll catch all the references second time around because you know when I played the messenger I was only thinking it would only be you know a single standalone game. Yeah, but they explain, like, so many things in this game, like, like, they explain the Great Eagle, and the Great Eagle is, like, one of the first things you see, like, in the, in the message. Okay, these guys are a little bit tougher than the usual ones. Going to do a thing though. Abeyance 
here. And then, um, sure, let's sunball on everybody. Shooketh, I say! Ha <laughs> ha! They said that the DLC is supposed to do two things. Connect to the Watchmaker more and the SOS Messenger. Oh. So, I don't recall much of the Watchmaker being referenced in the Messenger. But, I did do the DLC. Oh! There's a very obvious part in the DLC that, yeah, makes... Okay, yeah, you can connect that to the, watch the Watchmaker. Level up! Alright, maybe final boss will be easier, unless it's actually different if you do true ending. Okay, let's see, physical magic attack. I feel like maybe magic attack. My physical attack is pretty good. Defense will get plus three, that's plus two, plus two. I don't really need HP. Alright, magic attack it is. <laughs> sea of Stars DLC is to connect. Oh, oh, the Sea of Stars DLC? I had no idea that there was going to be DLC for this. I still need to play the Messenger DLC. Oh, okay, okay. There's some fun stuff in the Messenger DLC. It's only like like an hour, an hour and a half or so if you want to be completionist, but it's like a nice extra bonus DLC for the Messenger. I don't really want any of these for him. Maybe just, I don't know. I'm already getting magic defense. Sure. If I get magic... I'm going to just give him HP. HP applies to everything. <laughs> Alright, sure. Beast, beast, beast. All right. Uh, his magic attack is horrible, so that's probably useless. Physical defense. I don't know. Sure, HP. I don't know what to pick now, so I'm just. <laughs> I mean, ideally, I just want like attack stuff. So this, I mean, I'm probably just gonna go for attack here. Throws of the Watchmaker. Literally, what the. <laughs> See what Star DLC is called. LOL. <laughs> okay. Alright, nice. Well, I look forward to that DLC. I guess I'm gonna have to stream that too. <coughs> Four maple syrup. I was listening to a YouTube... Ah, oh, there's the rainbow conch. How do I get to that? This way? This way. Hey guys, I think this is number 60. This should be number 60. Found Rainbow Conch. Excellent. So you haven't seen True End yet? No, not yet, because I'm here for that. Okay. No, I need to... Well, I just collected what would presumably have been the last Rainbow Conch. Um, and then I assume there's probably some kind of quest thing for Duke Aventry here. Wait, is this the right way to go? Okay, there's a dock here. Hold on. I want to just check what's in the water over here. That answered my question, lol. You just got all... Yes, I literally just got all the conches. That was number six. I'm pretty sure that was number 60. 60, yep. Just got it. Okay. So... Hold on, wait. Alright, let me... Let me rest. <laughs> then save. And then I'm gonna put in another <laughs> cough drop. Sorry, guys. Never before had I had so many cough drops in one sitting. Have you gotten any flimsy hammers yet? Yeah, I think I have... I don't know how many there are, but... I have two flimsy hammers. According to my inventory, so... Alright, hold on. Wait. Can I not go this way? So this way was just the save point and the... So I have to go the other way? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I went this way first. Pillage the trees! I 
I think there's four. Conscious, Fishes, Beating the Game, and I think the Coliseum. Well, if that's the case, I should have more. Because I should have... Oh, no, no, wait. I, I shouldn't have the Conscious one yet, because I have to deliver those, right? I have the Fishes, and I have the Coliseum. If that's one. If that's not really true in it, but it's an even better... Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait. I didn't want to do that, did I? Uh... Hold on. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, oh, there's a switch. I just missed. <laughs> I am blind! Okay. Wait, I can't jump down. I should totally be able to jump down from there. Minor lament about the game. I don't know, we'll see. I should have all the flimsy hammers then. Uh by the end of this session. <laughs> I just saved. I don't need to. I was very, very, very wrong. Question packs, fish, beat the game, and all the wheels champions. Alright, well, thanks for double checking. So I should have everything except for the question packs. Um, which I have collected more question packs, so there's a chance that Ugh. And these wizards are gonna kill me. Uh, no, wait. Uh, abeyance. Okay, here? Okay, let's see how... These guys aren't that bad. Okay. My timing's a lot better than it was when I first encountered these guys. <laughs> okay, um... Let's just... Sunball everybody. So I guess we know what we have to do. We're gonna have to do some more questions. <laughs> After this. Um... 111? That was just a regular phys unboosted physical attack. hype it up this much. As a lifelong JRPG player, the flimsy hammer secret broke me. I cried and not sad. Just surprise. Okay, that's that's saying a lot. i played a lot of RPGs. I've had quite a few moving moments in RPGs. And when I was less emotionally stable. Like, when I was a teenager. There was a lot of uh, identity stuff going on. my life, so. I feel like I should go heal, but I don't need to. I'll just fetch a core and call it a day. Ugh, I can't wait! Hurry! JK, JK. I mean, I said short stream today, so we got about an hour before I want to probably call it. I do... Actually, no, it's a weekend. But, um... I am a little su peaches. All right. What? I could not strike him. That's so weird. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like you're fairly close to having everything done, so if not this stream, definitely next stream. Yeah, for sure. Definitely either this stream or next stream. I don't imagine there's too much. 
Hey, can I just ask about the question packs? Do you have to have both the casual and the expert question medals, or can you just do everything casual? That's probably the only thing I'm wondering related to the question pack stuff. Unfortunately, you need both. Alright, well... We know what I'm doing. I'm gonna cheat. Oh, but I know all the answers. All right. So, in either case, my statement stands. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see what that did. <laughs> I was like, what does this platform do? I'm just gonna jump down to the floor below. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay, anything else in this room before I, uh... Nope, okay. Okay, so funny story about my personal preference. I was so offended Rashawn basically left us a puppet that... I didn't use him for the rest of the game. Oh! <laughs> I mean, some of his abilities are still good. Like, I primarily I use him to collect enemies together and heal. <laughs> but his ultimate is just too good. Like, I'll swap him in to just use the ultimate. Like, Because, <laughs> like, everybody else's ultimate is just basically damage, right? But his is like... His is like, damage, delay the enemy, heal you... It's like, how, how, why, why wouldn't you use this? This is <laughs> insane. Except Great Eagle is so good. Yes, Great Eagle is stupidly good. Which is, yeah, Rashawn's ultimate, for anybody who didn't know. No. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'm going to have this encounter again. What, you again? How did you find this place? Magic. You're keeping Duke Aventry in this world against his will. We're ending this. Oh, no, you didn't. That's not exactly what she said, but I just... And Altered Beast for the Sega video game reference. Yes, Altered Beast is funny. But it's not like that crazy. Don't what? You don't steal my journal and barge in here making demands. Alright, I'll probably emphasize that a little bit differently. The magic object keeping him tethered? Where is it? The locket is mine, and mine alone. So it's a locket? You've already given me too much information. The nerve. The coarseness. Not again! <laughs> Beast is probably like, what is, what is she doing? Have you met her before? She doesn't seem to like you very much. <laughs> okay. Well, he addressed exactly what I was wondering. <laughs> Enough! There will be no mercy for you this time, and you will pay with your life. Prepare yourselves. I tried to make that sound as witchy as I could. All right. Um. All right. First order of business. We are going to disorient her. Oh, hey, we got epic boss music. Actually, let me take this opportunity to do a couple additional attacks. It's nice she's giving you a chance to prepare yourself. I know, right? So nice. Um, let's delay her again. And then, uh, she can go, and then Zale can attack. Okay, uh, I'm out of Disorients, so I'll just gain MP. What is that, lady? Um. Can I do triple boost? Yeah, triple boost. Alright. 
I probably should have weakened the attack, but whatever. Oh, I have to knock her down. Okay. That changes quite a bit. Oh, the pillar is only a 100. Is 100. Okay. Alright, I see. Um, I have no idea what she's planning. I should probably just Lunar Shield now. <coughs> this is just our old fight with extra steps. I mean, I, yeah, I beat her first try last time, so... <coughs> I wasn't terribly nervous this time. <coughs> I think I have better strategy and better timing. <laughs> okay, one turn. Oh no, I don't have Lunar Shield energy. Alright, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just attack. We'll just take it. Oh yeah, we're okay. Okay, it's a shame that she has, like, bone things. Uh, let me see. Combo. What can I combo here? So I need swords and sun. Can I get swords and sun? No. I can get sun. I forgot there's three targets. Those stupid bone piles. Alright, she's on the bottom floor, so at least there's that. Um. No, I missed the timing. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's definitely do this. Oh, come on. Um. Alright, we'll just hit this guy. X strike is sword and sun. Oh, yeah, no, but at the time that I could do it, I only had a. Uh, I think I only had Valera ready, so I would have needed somebody else. Oh, no, you're saying I could have swapped. You're saying I could have swapped in, um, uh, Sarai. Sarai. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember exactly the situation now, but. Uh,. I need the bone cage has 195. All right, it'll be worth it just to get her.
I just need another person. No! Okay. All right. Poutine. Who needs healing? I guess Beast doesn't really need that much healing, but <laughs> he's the next most. Okay, ultimate. Here we go. Here it is, the Great Eagle. her down to our level. Fellfire Rain. Whoops. <laughs> That's not really that bad. Okay. No, I don't have enough. Oh, but I should get MP for later. This is a good time to... Actually, I can do one hit, and then I can heal. Okay, single target on the board. Triple boosted Moonerang. Cage. That's okay. This is not. Ah, she really likes to bone cage on um, the lair. Oh, I forgot. I had. Three turns. Um. Combo something. We'll grab a bunch of these. I mean, this is probably still the best. I did a very bad job that time. <laughs> That's okay, we have ultimate. And actually I can I can wait. Oh wait, no, I can't. Well oh wait, I can if I swap to beast I can wait. Nice, okay. 
Okay, now I can swap it. <laughs> Actually, who needs MP? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wait. Okay, triple boosted ultimate. Here we go. Hello, welcome in, Gel Bean. How do you do? I'm not sure how you found me, but today I'm playing Sea of Stars. And if you found me because you wanted to see Sleight of Hand card magic, that happens on Sunday nights. Sleight of Hand Sundays. Uh, run Reset Run says, I saw a meme today. I've come up with a very complex and unique solution to break every single lock. Uses Moon Ring instead. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. I mean, Moonerang is just literally the easiest solution to a lot of things. Hi, hi, hope you are all doing well. Uh, yeah, besides being slightly physically sick for myself, I'm doing pretty well. Can't complain. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do the triple boosted single target moon ring. Just scrolling through Sea of Star streams before bed? Well, thank you for stopping in on my stream. Um, I know that there's a lot of people playing Sea of Stars, so... <laughs> Have you beaten the game, Gel Bean? Is it pronounced Gel Bean or Jelly Bean? Because I, I, I could pronounce it Jelly Bean. Nope, I haven't beaten it. Oh, okay. But you're playing it? Yeah. I'm in post-game right now, so uh, hopefully I don't spoil anything for you. I will try and minimize... <laughs> jelly! Spelled jelly. Okay, got it. Jelly bean. Alright. <laughs> you don't mind spoilers? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm taking whatever this hit is. Gotta get her down to the floor first. I'm not entirely clear on the timing. <laughs> I watched my friends play a lot before I started myself. Oh, I see, okay. Okay, do I want to heal? Or smack her. I just want to smack her, I guess. Got her! 20202 experience. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I yield. You better. <laughs> lady. Well fought, my lady. <laughs> Don't you start. <laughs> it's okay, Romaya. Just give us the locket and we'll be on our way. Insolent fools! With their powers, they didn't earn barging in here, foiling my plans. <laughs> Beast just trying to be genuine. I mean, uh, yeah, I would say Beast is... Out of everybody, Beast is probably the most genuine party member that I still have. Um, here's your locket. Now leave! <laughs> Go.
got Aventry Locket. And tell Duke Aventry that he's fired! Understood? He's not quitting, he's fired! <laughs> I wonder who that locket is for. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> my lady, why are you so angry all the time? You know, in my village... Beast, forget it. Yo, yo, yo. Just, excuse me? Who do you think you are? Sh sh let's just go, okay? <laughs> yeah, time to leave. I kind of want to go back. Oh, she needs some alone time. Okay, well. The game won't let me go back. Artificial barrier. Here we are. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, if anybody has been sitting around for a while and has not hydrated themselves, reminder to hydrate. This is a good time because, you know, we just rested at a campfire. Sorry if you guys heard that was extra slurpy compared to usual. Uh, have you done Queen That Was? Yes, I've done that already. Um, is there anything else in the swamp area at the bottom? Um, I can check, because I have to go back this way anyway. Um, so let's see. Nothing over here. Uh, here was the area that I uh, went to before. So unless there was something more. Uh, I mean, no harm in being extra thorough now that I've done the hard part. Oh, I think I am... I am specifically... I am specifically tied off in this section. I can't get to this bottom right area or anything, so... Yeah, not much not much to do in that area. Good question, though. I mean, you know me. If there's stuff to do, I'll go check out. I want to check it out. <laughs> Alright, I guess... Wait a second. There's a ladder here. Is it just purely to climb up? Why would they have a ladder here? Is there like a treasure chest somewhere down here? I mean, besides the, you know, I accidentally jumped in the water kind of thing. Oh wait, I can check the uh, treasure left in flooded graveyard. Oh, that's okay. I don't care about the treasure at this point. So, if anybody cares, there's a, an achievement where if you open all the treasure chests in the game, high probability I'm not going to do that. The locket you got! To the duke I shall take you. Yes, please. Notice how he gave us a pass this time. For, um... You know, not needing a flame. You can show him the locket and be like, yo. Let me through. I'm VIP. <laughs> Alright, so... After this, I should have all of the pillars, then I should... Oh no, actually, I have to go deliver all the, the conches, but we'll do that as well. Oh, and then I have to do the quiz game. Wait. He was standing right here. What? What's the Duke Aventry backstory? All right. So long story short, uh, what we sh technically already know is that he is—he was basically the the bodyguard of the Romaya, that that witch, and we encountered her earlier in the game, but we had to get through him first. But uh, he yielded during battle when we, you know. But actually, after we were done, he showed Zale an art, or not an art. Um, what's it called in this game? A skill. Another skill. And then uh, he led us through, and then we fought her the first time. And then now this time, we found Romaya beat her up, but uh, it's because we needed to figure out, because he couldn't remember his past. And so... Hold on, is he going to be in here? You about to learn. All right. So yeah, I'll have to figure out what his true. Oh yeah, you could heal the guy that I haven't attacked yet. That's fine. 
I don't care about that. Oh yeah, you run away. Scaredy cat. Alright, is he in here? He's not in here. Where is he? Oh, wait. Is he in here? Maya secret passage. Where do I find him again? Because he was standing up at that la that platform over there. I think he's more bottom left. Oh, so I totally went the wrong way. <laughs> Next to his coffin? Uh, I have to go back. I think it's actually faster to go back this way than to go the other way. Because then I have to wait for the ferryman again and... Have to fight these guys again? No, I'm just running fast. Um, can't get up there. Huh? You can win, push bad guys away if you don't want to fight. What? I can do that? How have I not discovered that up until this point? Like you telling me. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. I have the guide up, so we're just gonna double check where to go afterwards. Enter the cave behind Duke Evan Trees in a flooded graveyard and fight him in it. At this point, you should be able to find a treasure chest. There's no uh, one in the world that uses the fight ability to fly over the small. Oh, wait, okay. Okay, do this. Fight her. Go right until you reach a wooden platform. No, oh, pass this. When you've saved and rested, could go north, climb a wooden platform, enter the building ahead, fight your way up the tower, pull the lever. Oh no, okay, I've already done all this. He will give you the key to his coffin. Jump in the water and go west to find the entrance, his final resting place. Oh. Wait, jump in the water. His coffin is... here? I didn't learn until I 100% the game, so don't feel bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Is it actually still in here? Sorry guys, these instructions are not clear. Okay, exit her lair, return to a flooded graveyard, see Duke Aventry, and give him back the locket. Okay, that's not very clear. <laughs> flooded graveyard. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the flooded graveyard. He's probably out front, maybe? <coughs> Can I make it over this gap? Okay. Yeah. Thank goodness. Then go as west as you can. Okay, <laughs> cool. Okay, yeah, I remember the opening to the cave over here now. Uh, maybe, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one. Time to test it out. Get. Ugh. Okay, so I can push them, but. <laughs> That's it. I can. I just passed him? Oh. Dance for me, ghoul ghoul. Thanks for the dance. Okay. 
He was right there. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Also, I noticed that there was a chest in there. This locket. Wilda. For you to be the one who saves me. In the end, how poetic. He was right there. Get the chest! I know. Thank you for your help, brave souls. Please accept this key to my coffin. Its contents belonged to an old rival of mine. I believe it will be of value to you. Got Duke Aventry's key. Farewell. I don't know. That That's the first time that name has been mentioned to us. <laughs> or at least that I remember. That I remember. <laughs> Yo! I got another... I got another ruin. Iwilda was his wife. I mean, yeah, that would make sense. So, <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta go back and see if I can get this chest. Alright, we're gonna beat up these guys this time. Dance for me! Oh no, I'm not dancing this time. Lighting me up on fire. Okay. I, I can even see... Wait. How do I get over there? Oh. Do I have to jump down? I think I jumped down. From here? Yeah. I was like, I can see how to get there. Why didn't I get it the first time? I don't remember. Oh, I think maybe it was just like going through this area was a slog and monsters were tougher. So I just probably didn't explore as much. Recipe! Oh my god. That would have bothered me if I tried to cook all the things that I had and I couldn't <laughs> cook all the things. Alright. Alright, fairy man, get me out. Uh, green. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, next, we're gonna be dropping off rainbow conches. Where do you go with this coffin key now? That's a great question. Um... We're gonna do this first. <laughs> Lol to his coffin. Which I was just right next to. Oh my god, was I really just over there? Okay, well, clearly my priorities are do this and then coffin key and quiz game um, are my next <laughs> two things. But I know I have all 60 now, so there's no stopping me from this. Like, I'm gonna get this. This is gonna be gotten. Any business for me to take? Turn them in! 60! Congratulations, I have something for you. Bring all the conches to Myrna and Dokari Village. Rainbow Star. Hey, you emptied my stocks. What a fruitful collaboration this was. The last item was my most peculiar one. No idea what it's for. What? The Rainbow Star flew up and disappeared. Uh-oh. It's only got super powerful equipment, don't worry. I mean, I don't know. I beat I beat the game with the equipment that I already had, so, you know. So, please tell me a portal's going to open or something. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, well, guess that one was a dud after all. <laughs> That's all of them. Thank you for your patronage. Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back. 
That is a portal, and I would highly suggest getting that coffin open first. All right, so we're gonna coffin, and then like, how much time do we have left? I feel like we should coffin quiz game, and then end stream. No. <laughs> So I should coffin and then go through the portal. We can quiz game another time. Maybe get some more coffin drops. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I should get... I would coffin, portal, and stream. Okay. Right. Okay, let's go back to... Uh, you would think that I know what where things are on the map now, but I still kind of get lost a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add another coffin drop to my mouth. I'm sorry if that sound did horrible. Let me talk to the ferryman first. Green flame! Because the portal should lead to the end end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nope, I'm done with the Ricolas. Uh, I had two Ricolas, and this is my second halls. And I only have halls left. Um. That seemed like a longer trip than usual. Okay. Okay, where's his coffin? Is his coffin... Okay, no spell, but I want to call back on something. Put it up there. Remember Rashawn making a living glass and he mentioned his portal? Him and a twin can go through? That's his portal. What? Okay. Shove your butt at me, dude. Okay. Where do I take the key to? Use the key at his coffin, find the... Okay. Jump in the water and go west, find the entrance, find a rest of the place, use the key at his coffin. Alright. Is this coffin up there? Is that where it is? Do I actually need to go through this building? Tomb should have been right behind him. Oh. So, like, I'm in... Too far? I may have gone too far. That's too far. Okay, jump down this way. Oh yeah, yeah. Over here. Okay. <laughs> this is it. Duke Aventry's Got Eclipse Armor. Got Aventry Crest. Okay. Equip. Uh, eclipse armor? Eclipse armor. Yep. Best armor in the game. Okay. Um, what does this other item do? I think it... Oh, okay. Teeks. Okay. Question pack 135. I'm missing two and four. Ugh. I'm missing a bunch of music sheets too. <laughs> and 11. What? There's 11? Alright. 
Yeah. But no matter, this is the end. Okay. Green flame. Okay. <coughs> Been here lurking, my bro. Cool, Jimmy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, I forget. Is it down here? Mountain shell. No, wait, it's the other... It's up here, right? <laughs> they look like souls flying. Moreland's. Yes, okay, this is the place. Moreland's. I am I am the gods of sun and and moon. That's and I can fly now. So that's my that's how I fly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, do I need to heal? I guess so. Actually, do I need to cook too? Cook. Uh, alright, poutine is just too good. If you've never had good poutine, that's never been more true. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Gotta find the arrangement of things. It's about to go down. I mean, I hope so. Here it is, okay, here we are. I'm equipped. Got all the things. Actually, uh, let's just double check and make sure the things that I want. Oh, okay. Actually, I think I want to put that on her. This one doesn't matter. Okay, magic defense. Everything else is like ultimate E. Actually, do I want to give her max MP? Yeah, power doesn't matter. Okay, so now she can do four, because six times four, she can do four delays. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I should probably put magic attack on him. Because I do use his magic attack now. And he can have... Dexterous Bangle. And I can have... Magic attack plus 7! Okay. Magic attack plus 7. Regular attacks regenerate. Yeah, she needs to regenerate her MP more. Okay. Alright. We are now here. Okay, let's take a screenshot. Got everything. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in. It seems we have everything now. You know about this thing. Yes, the great alchemist told me about the chronophage while he was working on my living glass form. 
Rashawn left us something? The chronophage is his parting gift to you. It was enchanted to activate in response to your initial deeds as up and coming guardian gods. A gift? That is how he described it. I got the sense that he wished to take responsibility for something. It should take us somewhere. All I know is how to open it, and that only Zale, Valer, and I can go. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, well, I guess <laughs> my party members, yeah. Yes, the great alchemist could have stopped you at any time if that had been his wish. How do we open this gift? You must provide the memento of a happy memory. <laughs> oh no, it's going to be something that Garl gave us. He said you would know. Okay, hold on. Let me just... So if it's just going to be the Solstice Warriors and Beasts, so that means I'm not going to have... Uh... Okay, does he have anything that I really care about? Maybe the Lucent Crystal? Um... And then does she have anything... I mean, skills cost minus one MP is really good. But I don't know, these other things... Don't worry about the party setup and equipment right yet. Okay. Well... Okay. Cookie jar. Alright, here we go. Hold on to your butts. It worked! We should go now while it's active. Be safe out there. I'll be here when you return. They're beautiful. What do you call them? Time shards. You always were the better artist. Huh? This is... Is it a vision? The great alchemist, he placed an anchor in time so that you can return here. I know what my role is, but we must be quick. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we gonna save Garl? Are we gonna save Garl? Don't you see? This is your gift! Your friend's life! I will take his place. You hurry and get him out of here. Beast! Believe in me, brave monk! It will hurt, but my will is strong. I can take the hit. Oh my god, they're doing a Chrono Trigger! We're doing a Chrono Trigger! You must act now before the diversion is over! Th thank you. Just don't leave me buried under the tree for too long, okay? Courage, beast, we'll be right with you. See you soon. We'll even get Beast back too? Oh my god! <laughs> Steady now. Oh my god! That is. Oh. Hey! What happened? Wait, is that. Nani? Huff, huff. Nani kore? Nanda? Haha, you did it! Girl! Don't just stand there, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Girl, it's so good to see you! Is this for real? Sure is! 
Guys, I've been watching all along. I'm so proud of you. Everything you've accomplished, it's unbelievable. Hey, where's Beast? Oof, right. We should go now. Our reunion can wait. <laughs> Are you well enough to travel? Never been better! Alright, let's go dig up my grave. I can't wait to meet my savior. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Fulfill the ultimate wish. New Garl Plus. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Is, is Chip here? If, if Chip wasn't here, I need to tell Chip to watch this. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Hefe. Who's he? Yeah, so in the very beginning of the game, you start off as Zael and Valer, and your best friend is Garl. You start off as the three of us, childhood friends, growing up. The cookie jar is this thing where... So, we separated from the village, uh, Zell and Valer, to go train at Zenith Academy to become Solstice Warriors. And there's the elevator that leads to the Academy, which is above Moon Cradle, which is this town. And what happened was... <laughs> he wanted to visit us once through the ten years that we were training. And he made cookies in a cookie jar. And then he got a monocle and focused the sunlight onto the elevator, because, you know, we're Solstice Warriors, so we can just activate it whenever. And he needed to wait there for eight hours to get enough sun to get it to move. And he left us the cookies before he was caught. <laughs> but then, if you see that scar on his eye, he got that because uh, the three of us went adventuring. And, uh, and he took a hit, I think, for one of us, so... Yeah. But anyway, uh, so Garl, yeah, he, and then later in the game, he sacrifices his life to do all sorts of things for us. Long story. <laughs> Sorry you had to wait all this time. I thought it'd be instantaneous or something. Anyway, thanks again, Beast. Please don't mention it. No way, I owe you big time. Quote unquote instantaneous. Guys, I, there's so much I wish I could share. I'm not allowed to talk about what I saw on the other side. But when I came back, they said they would grant me one wish. Did you pick a good one? Sure did, but it, it can wait. I want to be the one cooking for tonight. My wish demands a bit of an errand, though, so we don't have to go for it if we don't have, have time. Uh, I'll tell you at camp later if you want. Sounds good. Oh. Reunited with their best friend, Zale and Valer enjoy an evening of celebration and feel a familiar warmth returning at last. No, no, you have to go for it, though. Yeah, I know. Of course. Alright, so for anybody who is not aware of uh, when I said the Chrono Trigger thing, spoilers for Chrono Trigger. If you don't want to know, maybe turn your ears off, but, you know, Statute of Limitations, the game's been out for like 20 plus years, 25 years now. So, in Chrono Trigger, if you play through the game, through the natural course of the game, Chrono dies before the end. The doll! Alright, so run, reset, run, so you know. And then there's these optional side quests that you can do. And, uh, spoiler, you then swap Chrono's body for a doll that looks exactly like Chrono to save him through a series of time events and things. So, yeah, we basically just pulled a... A shame Rashawn left. I hope I can thank him someday. I wouldn't presume to understand the great alchemist's mind, but I believe it... It, it is he who meant to thank you. Let's see what Valer says. It feels so nice to have Garl with us again. I can't help but wonder why Rashawn... Wouldn't just save Garl in the first place if that was his wish. We'll never know for sure, but I think he first needed Zale and Valer to be ready for something. Seems to me like these alchemists are just incredibly immature for all their millennia of experience. I don't know. I mean, if they know millennia of experience, then they may understand cause and effect. And actually, if you don't remember, in the game, it was the loss of Garl that actually pushed Zale and Valer to become the Guardian Gods. Now, even I think the party felt incomplete without Garl. Slurp, slurp. 
He does grow on people fast. Beast, how did it feel when you took the blast? Purposeful, like I was doing the right thing. We're forever indebted to you for that. You brought hope to my world and crowned me champion of the arena. As far as I'm concerned, it is I who still owes you. Haha, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, there's two things you can do. Straight to True End, or just one extra super great scene which the guide posts starts as the mysterious island south of... Oh. Yeah, I'm probably going to end stream soon, so we're not going to do anything else today. So yeah, we, next time, for sure. What a time, huh? I sure didn't have resurrection on my list when we started our adventure. Haha. <laughs> one more for Teak's storybooks, I guess. One more for Teak's storybook, I guess. Seriously, though, it did get kind of scary. Thanks for filming me out of there. I know activating the chronophage took a lot of effort. We'd have done it faster if we knew. <laughs> and come on, you'd do the same for us. In a heartbeat. Yeah, I was wondering about that island with the with the fishing thing. Everyone ate and slept better that night than they had since the fight against the Dweller of Strife. Thanks, Carl. Okay. Let's get out of here! Hold on, wait. Oh, I don't have cargo anymore for the rest of the game. I have all my characters. Moon Cradle Boy's Lid. Well, this is the best, but it kept his other two things. Garl's Apron. Oh, actually, one thing I want to do. Wait. Is this the way out? I don't remember the way out. I don't remember how I got here. Wait, where am I? <laughs> Feels like this is the way out. Yeah, it's hard to explain, because time travel and paradox and junk. So somehow he was watching your adventure the whole time? That I don't understand, yes. I'm not entirely sure how he would have been watching in that entire time, because to us it seemed like a moment, and then he would have been extracted from that part of time. I'm not sure. Okay, well... Let's see. Alright, so that's the island that we're going to avoid for right now. I don't want to open another can of worms at the moment. Uh, but... Okay. Rashawn explained that he could stop time by looping it infinitely. Alright, let's talk to Teeks. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. So, let's read the story, save, and the next time, we'll quiz show next. New story unlocked. Paradise lost. Hey, wanna hear a story? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to pronounce Uwilda. Uwilda. I think E W is pronounced U. So Uwilda was a fair leader who cared not for the titles. Stories say that she spent an, spent equal time at Aventry Manor as she did in town with her people. Under her reign, loosened new prosperity and upheld its title as Bastion of Light like never before. By her side was Duke Aventry, a proud noble and fierce defendant t defender of his land and people. Ever stalwart, it is said that the flame of his dedication to Lucent burned only cooler than that of his fiery love for Uwilda. Despite the looming threat of the Clockwork Castle, they managed to keep their people safe, happy, and hopeful. One night, during a long journey abroad like so many others, Duke Aventry was awoken by an emissary carrying urgent orders. 
Yuwilda demanded that he return to Lucent at once, offering no explanation beyond hinting at some dire threat. When the Duke arrived, he was greeted by a raging firestorm. A sizable portion of the land was burning, but there were no enemy forces in sight. A sun solstice warrior had turned evil. Hiding somewhere on the island, he would come out once a day to deplete his powers, slowly burning away at the landscape. Thanks to the trail of conflagration, he was easily tracked. Their fight persisted for days on end, but for all his might, Duke Aventry was unable to defeat the evil Solstice Warrior. Seeing the collateral damage caused by their battle, he accepted they were at a stalemate and retreated. In order to avoid further destruction of his already bleeding land, struck by despair in the face of his inability to protect his people, Duke Aventry let his guard down, and in walked the enemy. Fleshmancer Acolyte II approached in disguise and offered him a magic shard. This ancient shard was made by the Ovates themselves. She lied, fully aware of Duke Aventry's weakened state of mind. It will shroud your island in complete darkness for one day, blocking all light from the sun and moon. My enemy's powers would, he mused, but playing to Duke Aventry's sense of honor, two gave him the final nudge. The Solstice Warrior hasn't been playing by the rules either. Surely you wish to protect your people, she asked. Duke Aventry accepted the shard and thanked her for her help. Simply smash the shard with conviction, and its magic will awaken. Two explained on her way out. He wasted no time in smashing the shard, and by voluntarily activating the curse on his island, played right into the acolyte's hands. Everything went fine at first. The night shroud covered the land, and Duke Aventry made short work of the weekend solstice war. As celebrations began, they put out a call for wind mages to gather waves strong enough to flood the eastern part of the island. The flames were extinguished at last, but in doing so, those areas were transformed into the famous swamps we know today. It was a change welcomed by all, for it came hand in hand with their victory. It took a few weeks until it became clear to all that the Night Shroud would never recede. Despite overwhelming support from his people, Duke Aventry could not forgive himself for his mistake. Finally realizing who had really given him the magic shard, he departed for the Clockwork Castle. On that day, Duke Aventry played into the Acolyte's hands for a second time. While he was away, Fleshmancer Acolyte III infiltrated Aventry Manor and killed Yuwilda. Thus was the ritual completed, and a seed of evil was planted in the mansion, which a few centuries later would grow into the Dweller of Woe. Completely defeated over the following days, Duke Aventry died of sadness and despair. As if fate hadn't been cruel enough, over 200 years later, Romaya found his urn and raised him from the dead to be her bodyguard. For decades, the Duke roamed the swamps he once ruled over, his memory completely gone, feeling nothing save for the unexplainable sadness. In bouts of clarity, he would feel a brief but very deep yearning for something he just couldn't put his finger on. Such was the Duke's lot for half a century until one day, young Solstice warriors reclaimed Yuwilda's locket and brought it to him. His memory now restored, Duke Aventry smashed the locket and in doing so broke the tether binding his soul to the material plane. At long last, he found peace and was free to leave this world. The end. And that still wasn't the last story from Teeks, because I think there's an achievement for that, so... Alright, guys. Time! 45 hours into this game I've spent. Um... Yeah, that's a good way to end. Alright. I'm just going to hop back up here. Thank you so much to everybody who has come in and stopped by to say hi and hang out and chat and watch me experience 
one of the great surprises at the end of this game. And uh, so I presume there's probably going to be at least one more stream where I wrap up the loose ends, maybe do all the quiz show game shows, deal with the fish pond, and then beat the game again. And then we'll see how that goes. It was a pleasure, sir. I'll be back for the end end. Okay. Yeah, uh, just check out for me late nights, most nights. I don't know when I'm going to stream next. To be fair, I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow. I may or may not stream tomorrow. But then uh, Sunday nights are my sleight of hand magic streams. So. Um, so we did see our mod pop in earlier today. If you're not following Gibson Lens, please give Gibson Lens a follow. And... Uh, once again, if anybody wants to see a lot of stuff or watch all my VODs, if they're not on Twitch, after they fall off, they go to my YouTube. Check out my YouTube. And then uh, also, if you're going to TwitchCon, I'll be at TwitchCon presenting. So, come hang out. That's actually in two weeks from today. Well, actually from yesterday. So, uh, yeah, two weeks. Exciting. Chances are I'm probably not going to be streaming during that entire weekend that I'm in at TwitchCon, so. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and find somebody to raid. And then we'll, uh... We'll get out of here. Okay. I don't have too many people on my list of things. Actually... Let's see. Uh, normally I raid Twitch friends, and a lot of my Twitch friends are musicians, so you may he be hearing an ad. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and raid... Oh, hold on. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're going to raid our friend Meow2, Vincent plays piano. And if anybody would like to copy a raid call, feel free. Once again, thank you everybody for coming to hang out and chatting and uh, everybody have a glorious night and take care of yourselves. Yeah, I have to wave with this hand, because the other hand is my mouse hand. <laughs> Alright, uh, if I don't see you soon, then uh, see you eventually. Alright, take care. See ya. Bye!